welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2018. My name is Valerie, if you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on here and I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys about some things and do a little boxy charm unboxing and ipsy bag. I don't think I have the a couple of items that are in my ipsy bag because I've worn them already. But we're going to be here, we're going to be talking about a couple controversial things going on and hopefully we could push right through this. So, <clears throat> let's start. This is the BoxyCharm 2018. We're going to make a look with all the products, see what we can come up with, you know, all that good stuff. Because it's been a while since I've done a BoxyCharm unboxing. So, we're going to start off with the first thing I'm seeing is the... Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt and Luminizing Pores No More. Hopefully it really means no more. So let's get into talking. This is what it looks like, kind of consistency. Looks a little bit like foundation. Um, let's talk about some things that's been going on since it's been a while since I've been here. Um, So YouTube's policy is changing. Who's excited for that? I know as a smaller channel, I'm not really all that excited for it. Um, their policy now is you have to have a thousand subscribers. We've been there, we beat it, yay! We beat that part. And the last time that we were seeing a change in YouTube, it was 10,000, I think it was lifetime views. Views, gotta keep I didn't mind that it was views. Um, I like this stuff. It smells very different, florally. Um, but yeah, um, it was 10,000 views for a lifetime the last time that they changed it. And that was around when PewDiePie did the whole, we're not going to say the word, um, stunt. You all can look it up. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Um, and yeah, that's when that changed. And now here we are, 2018, and new rules for everybody. And I feel like these rules are mainly directed towards the smaller channels because if you've got, we'll say, 100,000 subscribers or more, you're good to go. You're, you're fine, you'll, you'll live. Um, so yeah, hold on. Next we're gonna do the It's Brow Power Universal Taupe. Um, I've used this before. This used to be my holy grail before. Um, so now the policy is you have to have a thousand subscribers. Like I said, we've already beat that threshold. But it's 4,000 hours. Hours. Ugh, I can't get this dilly dang thing out. 4,000 hours. There we go. Watched. 4,000 hours watched in a consecutive year so that means so we'll say the beginning of January last year to the beginning of this year the first you would have to have had 4,000 views um, I think it only takes effect on February 20th is when it's going to be in like full effect it has like a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other end love it um, so it's kind of meh for a lot of the smaller channels so I started out um let's be real here I started out because of youtubers that I've watched before like Sam Sherman um Melissa Autry Jaclyn Hill were the ones that I watched in the very beginning and they made it look like it was fun like you could make friends and this was, we'll say, about three or four years ago. It's been a while. Um, so, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. We'll say three or four years. And for these changes, the changes alone that have happened in the YouTube community are completely different. I don't remember any of the things that are going on now being, like, all that popular. <laughs> Let's be real here. Nothing that is on YouTube now was 
on YouTube back when I started. Um, but I can honestly say that I've lost my love for YouTube because of the changes that YouTube has done. I feel like you have to be, to put it in a PG rated, I feel like you have to literally sell yourself. Um, if you're more mature, we're going to say sell ourselves. You know, you know what I mean. Um, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm pretty positive you know what I mean when I say sell yourself. And it's not in a good way. Um, in order to get views or anything like that. And I feel like that's not me. I'm not one to put myself out there in that kind of way. I mean, like Laura Lee, she's sitting on, standing up on chairs, dancing, popping her booty. And we've got um, people talking about doing certain things with certain body parts. And it's just like, this is not what I remember being on YouTube. Um, being so derogatory and just nasty is what it's become these days. The next thing I have is the, yes, my brows are done. If they look jacked up, get up, get over it. Um, the Glam Metals by Clown, Crown Pro, and this is what it looks like inside. I don't have any matte shades other than the black metal. So we'll just take that black and smoke out the eyes. We're not using primer because that's not what's in our box. And I'm going to take black metal. We're going to hopefully come up with a good look. But I don't remember literally selling yourself for views was anything. This one still has other color on it, so that's how dirty my brushes are. So I'm all for um, productivity and showing you products like, oh, this is the Crown Pro um, eyeshadow palette. So let's rock your look on it. It has a cute little guitar mirror. Cute, okay? Show your products. We don't need you dancing on chairs. We don't need all that. We don't. We don't need all that. Um, this look is going to go terrible, just so you know. Um, what? But I, realistically speaking, for us smaller channels, there's no way in Hades that we are going to be getting 4,000 hours watched unless you are uploading consecutively and you're getting at least a thousand views on a video at least and I know that there are channels out there that are saying oh well it doesn't matter you weren't making anything to begin with monetization wise and yes I agree with that um since my time on YouTube, I've made a total of about $180, give or take. And for me, that does it. That's what does it for me. It's like, hey, I put hard work into this. I wouldn't go do a job and um, work for free. I'm not saying that this is my job. It's by far not my job. Um, but I wouldn't do this for free. If I had the means to make money, if I have the means to make money from YouTube, yes, I'm going to capitalize on it. But I don't use it as my main job. Getting $100 here, $100 there, you know, it's gratifying. It's like, hey, I can go out and buy something that I want and not have to put it towards bills because that's usually what all my money goes to is bills. And it sucks. It's like all these channels that have little to no subscribers are getting screwed like me I have little to no subscribers if you look at me compared to my husband because my husband has a channel he has 31,000 subscribers he makes a decent amount from it but if he didn't consecutively upload that would drop and that's what sucks is that it would drop but he enjoys doing it so he keeps up on it and I'm not gonna knock him for that um, I'm using Wild Thing. I use Black Metal first, and I'm using Wild Thing, which is right next to it. Um, this look is not going to be cute. I'm just going to say it now. Um, but it sucks for us smaller channels. And I feel for everyone that's, you know, has a channel and they're on the verge of, like, I'm not doing YouTube anymore, which is where I was. That's where I'm still at. It's like, I don't want to do YouTube anymore. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. 
sit down, sip some tea. I don't have any tea in front of me, but you know what I'm saying. So it all happened because one person, um, Logan Paul, as we all know, made a video. And the thing that I feel is completely wrong is that the new rule is hurting every single YouTuber that is smaller. It's in no way, shape, or form helping us. It's no, it's not making us look good. It's like they're, they need somebody to point the finger at and here we are. Smaller channels, you're getting the finger pointed at you because you're on a smaller channel and you're just not going to make it. And that's honestly how I feel. So we're going to go with Rebel and use that on the lid because it's nice and shimmery. So I feel like YouTube literally does not give a hoot and any about their small channels. Honestly, if you're making buku money off of YouTube, step over. Collab with somebody smaller. And when I say smaller, I don't mean somebody with 200,000 subscribers because when you have 200,000 subscribers, you're fine. When you are a small channel, we'll say 15, we'll say 30,000 and less. You're a small channel. Um, collab with those people. Those people have the most creative minds. They are very well spoken. They're very articulate. Their editing is on point. They do everything by the book. They're good. I've, I know some channels that have less than 50,000 subscribers and they're really good YouTubers. Um, like Samantha Jane on YouTube. I, I know her Facebook is Samantha Jane YouTube or something like that. Um, she does really good videos. Um, Kim, I don't know her last name, Kimberly. I'll link all their channels below. If you're not watching them, go ahead over there to their channel, subscribe to them, you will love them. I'm not gonna sit here and recommend you crappy channels because that's not what it is. I'm here to help other channels. I will list down below like five channels that y'all should watch that have put a lot of work, a lot of dedication into their channels because they deserve it. I mean, come on now. I'm not saying I deserve it, but I think that YouTube is just literally crapped on any YouTuber that is smaller and it's garbage. I'm just using a detailed brush, pencil brush by Lamora. I'm going to go ahead and go back in with the black metal. And I'm just going to do a little liner action. So let's talk about the next thing. We're going to be using up all of our minutes on here and y'all better sit through this because this is all worth the talking. Okay, I stopped my life to talk to y'all when I was done with YouTube. <laughs> so, the next thing is, um, Too Faced, and they're crappy, not Too Faced, Too Faced, you are my bae, do not, I am so sorry. Tarte, and their crappy foundation line that they just came out with. Why are we only coming up with like 15 shades of fair, light fair, lighter fair than fair, ghost pepper, white? Like why are we coming up with these white shades? I'm a white woman and I don't need 10 million different shades of white, okay? Can I get some color ranges in there? Maybe I wanted to do, get a library to start doing makeup on other people and I absolutely loved your concealer and I wanted to to do to use your product for my what is it called my little traveling box whatever I can't because you only have three shades of dark come on now the next thing I'm going to use is this pure Bronze and brighten palette. This is what it looks like inside. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna use that to bronze and brighten my eyes. They look like crap because I don't have mascara or eyeliner on. So, so we're gonna use the bronze. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Mm. We need a bronzing brush. Okay, we'll just use my big old Morphe R2. No code below. Sorry, <laughs> not here. So, woo, girl. So I think Tarte needs to be taking accountability for their crabby decision on 
their picks of colors. This is bad. This is too shiny. I don't know. I feel like YouTube has gone down the drain. If you agree with me, like the video. If you feel like my makeup looks, looks like garbage, go ahead and like this video. Yes, it looks like garbage. And we're going to use this coral color. It is some blushing glow. Let's tap off my brush because it's pigmented, obviously. But I don't know. I feel like YouTube has gone down the drain because one person has ruined it for all of us. <laughs> Typical. Which is depressing. One person used, ruined it for everybody. Um, I'm going to use the middle one, which is Afterglow. So, I'm digging the look. Very rocky. Not rocky. I don't know how to explain it. Very rock star-esque. Oh my god, you have this brats. Very pretty highlight. Can you see that bing 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 bing? All right, the next thing, last thing is the matte lip paint by Girlactic. I love their packaging and let me just say, I was so nervous when I got this. I seen, what's her face? I'll leave it down below. I seen her video and I was like, I better get that because if I don't get that, I'm gonna be super upset. This is their liquid lipstick, bing bing, in the shade Demure, Demure. That is so pretty though. Oh my god. It's been so long since I wear makeup that I don't know how to apply it. Okay, there's my look. And there's my ranting. I'm literally probably not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to throw it up for you guys. Um, let me know. Sound off down below what you guys think. I Like I said, I have no mascara or eyeliner on. So, and no foundation, because mama didn't want to put it on. But yeah, this lip oh, it dries down so quick. Mm, the best. Go, go get it. Um, but let me know down below what you guys think of this YouTube bullcrap that's going on. Um, and let me know what you guys think of Tarte and their crappy uh, AF foundation selection. I think it's crappy that they're going to only put three d deep, dark mahogany. Like what? I, le I left a big comment on my Twitter. If you're not following me on there, please go ahead and go over there and follow me. I would love to have you all over there. We have some fun. We talk about some things. Not really. I just rant most of the time. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I need you guys to be here because YouTube's going to demonetize my channel and I need you to watch like 50 more hours because my life. It doesn't matter. I really don't care at this point if you watch. Um, if you guys want me to keep making videos, let me know down below. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.